the diagnosis for case number one is giardiasis. The giardia are the pale kite-shaped organisms seen between the villi. The diagnosis for case number two is amoebiasis. The part of large bowel that is most frequently involved is the cecum. You can see a large ulcer in the cecum. The exudate usually contains the amoebae and these look like histiocytes with eccentric nuclei and the amoebae ingest red blood cells. Sometimes amoebae can invade the bowel wall, and here you can see amoebae present within the bowel wall. Again, they are the pale staining cells resembling histiocytes with eccentric nuclei. The incidental finding in the colonic biopsy of the 34-year-old patient is intestinal spiroketosis. The diagnostic feature here is a thick, fuzzy, blue line on the luminal surface of the colonic biopsy. The male of 70 who suffered from fever and abdominal pain had typhoid. The piece of small bowel shows ulceration of the pears patches that is typically seen in typhoid. The small bowel histologically shows ulceration and the Inflammatory cells are composed of macrophages, lymphocytes and plasma cells with relatively few polymorphs. The final case was the female of 23 who had a bone marrow transplant suggesting that she was immunocompromised and the diagnosis is CMV colitis. The histology of the colon shows ulceration and as we zoom into the endothelial cells you can see a classical owl's eye CMV inclusion.